I'm Martin Hogna, the Executive Director of the Gulf Coast Bird Observatory, located in Lake Jackson, Texas. Uh, we're a nonprofit conservation organization based up on the Texas coast, and our focus is avian field research, land conservation, and environmental education. Besides working in the bird conservation field, I personally love birding and traveling to see birds as well as leading birding trips all across the Americas. Birds are truly a passion of mine. Unfortunately, it's estimated that over one billion birds die each year in the United States alone from striking man-made objects. That is a huge number, one billion, over one billion. Bird strikes can be the result of collisions with windows and buildings, uh, collisions with cell towers, guy wires, power lines, cars, trucks, uh, wind turbines, lighthouses, and similar man-made structures. But uh, window strikes are by far the most deadly for birds. Window strikes often happen at night when migratory birds are attracted to the lit up windows. They are like giant visual magnets for the birds. Uh, there are several initiatives, however, in North America trying to teach people to turn off windows in offices, condos, businesses, and similar large buildings. Uh, turning off the lights at night in these buildings do not completely stop birds from hitting them, but it does make a huge difference in the bird strike rates. And there have been successful programs in at least 34 major cities in the U.S., with Houston leading the way here in Texas. Uh, the Houston Audubon sends out action alerts on nights with predicted heavy migration flights, asking folks to turn off the lights. Daylight strikes are also a big problem for these uh, larger and often tall buildings. Um, there are now bird-friendly windows available. They're actually designed to be bird-friendly. They tilt slightly, which takes away that look of a flight path that the bird sees. Um, a few architects and builders are actually catching on to this, uh, but not near fast enough and not near enough of them, unfortunately. Even uh, homes are an issue and windows look much like an opening for birds to fly through, but instead they hit it head on, often resulting in death. Uh, these types of collisions are happening mostly during the day, but large homes also experience that lit window phenomena. Uh, there's numerous ways to mark your windows, uh, breaking up that flight pattern. Bird tape sold by the American Bird Conservancy and other organizations is one of the most successful um, basically, it's transparent tape that you install on the windows that the birds can see, and they see it actually better than we do. Uh, just like these here at GCBO, uh, at our headquarters. We have not had any window strikes since we installed it here, so they truly do work. The same goes for tall towers that have flashing lights uh, on top, especially white lights. Uh, the flashing strobes attract migrating birds that then fly in circles around those towers, eventually striking guy wires holding the towers up. Uh, this is even a larger issue during stormy nights. Red light seems to have less of a draw to birds and uh, are now being used more, uh, thankfully. I have seen dozens of dead birds under these cell towers after foggy or stormy nights doing bird surveys. It's a sad sight. Uh, Birds have a very tough life as it is dealing with natural threats and add all these man-made threats and their chances are much diminished. And this is something that we can at least do something about. We should all strive to spread the word and cause a change. Over one billion dead birds every year is just way too many. I thank you for watching and I hope you can join in more and learn about these issues. Thank you.